converter. Another USB, that's an SDXC card reader. You might have noticed if you have a very, very sharp eye, there's a slight difference here. There's two, you can't see it, there's two little tiny dots, dual array microphones. The reason is they're doing the same thing on the iPhone and the MacBook Retina where they pre... There, you can see it, look at that. Uh, that one of them is for noise canceling. And actually, I found this on the MacBook Retina. It's pretty much the same on uh, on this uh, uh, MacBook uh, Air. The sound quality is quite good. In fact, I don't feel the need to use headsets on making phone calls and so forth using Skype with this. It really does give you quite good sound. Nobody's ever complained. Uh, there are some differences. The battery is about 8% larger, uh, just a slight uh, bit. Um, they are doing a, a big difference in battery life, and that's really the thing that people are paying attention to right now. On the 11-inch MacBook Air, Apple's claiming nine hours of battery life. On this 13, 12 hours, I haven't had it long enough to really give you an accurate reading, but I have to say uh, I've used uh, only a quarter of the uh, uh, available power on here, and I've been using it quite heavily. It, Apple says six and a half hours remaining, which is slightly less than 12 hours. Um, I do think you're going to get that kind of a battery life. And all the other reviewers who've had it for a little bit longer are claiming excellent battery life. Uh, more than 12 hours in some cases in normal use. So that's that's pretty impressive. Um, it also has a much faster SSD. I was very surprised to find out when I benchmarked it that it was the fastest SSD I'd ever used except for one on my Mac Pro using the PCI Express bus. And there's a reason for that. Apple has moved their solid-state drive off of the SATA bus. And on the new MacBook Airs, they're on the PCI Express bus. And that makes a very, very big difference. We're talking 600 megabytes a second read and write on this thing. Very fast. They offer it in a stock configuration of 128 gig hard drive, 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's an SSD hard drive at a starting price of $10.99. These are a little less expensive, actually, than the uh, MacBook Airs uh, of uh, previous years. And there's one thing that you might wonder about. The processor speed is a little bit slower. This is a, a maxed-out MacBook Air. So I put an i7 in it, running at only 1.7 gigahertz, although it will step up to faster speeds. Slightly slower processor speeds on here giving you slightly slower benchmark results. But I have to tell you, you won't notice the difference. And one of the benefits, of course, because it's using Haswell, is much, much better battery life. And I, I think that this is plenty fast enough. However, the slower processor speed um, and the, uh, uh, the, you know, the uh, desire for increased battery life do mean that we're not going to get the best screen resolution possible. This is... Sigh. Not a retina display. It's 1440 by 900, uh, which is nowadays, I think, a little low for a 13-inch uh, notebook. Um, Apple has really defined this category. The MacBook Air was the first Ultrabook before Intel even thought of the phrase Ultrabook. And all the other Ultrabooks really are copying the MacBook Air. It is still a gorgeous design, thin, light, very portable. And, of course, the unibody aluminum means it feels robust in the hand. It doesn't torque or twist. This is, you know, the Cadillac, the class act of thin and light notebooks and remains so easily the best trackpad on the market. And that's another thing that's missing here is uh, there's no touch screen, as you'd find on many of these Windows 8 uh, laptops. But Apple's done such a good job with the trackpad and the trackpad gestures that many folks say, I don't mind because I'm getting, uh, you know, the kind of touch responsive uh, experience just using the trackpad alone. I'm not sure I agree with that. I'd love to see a retina display on this. I'd love to see a touch screen. Um, it is a lower resolution than, for instance, the comparably priced uh, Acer S7, which has a 1080p display. And I notice it. You know, I use so many retina devices now that I really can see the difference uh, in terms of the screen resolution. It, it's not exactly horrible, but but you, it's just not as crisp uh, as I'd like it. So let me, uh, but but I have to tell you, amazing battery life, amazing throughput on the SSD drives. Uh, the reboot is is just seconds. Um, it feels perfectly responsive. Uh, and of course, you wouldn't maybe with a with a retina display be able to push these pixels around as fast as I am. Uh, it, it's just these are important uh, distinctions to know about. Um, the price uh, starts at 1099 as configured here. This is about $1,450 because I did get the top of the line, put an i7 in it, put eight gigs of RAM in it. Uh, so you can build to order and get it to be a lot more expensive. Um, pros on this, incredible battery life, best trackpad in the market, best form factor. This is the, this, this, the standard setter uh, in this market. Uh, there's, just, there's just nothing 
uh, better out there. And the SSD drives are the fastest I've seen on anything. This thing, it does not slow down when you're accessing the hard drive. Cons, well, it's pricier than some PCs. Uh, the CPU is slightly slower, which some might take offense at. And I am a little disappointed by the lack of a retina display. It's not that I don't understand why. It, it's kind of that's how you get the battery life and the, and the speed. But 1440 by 900 is kind of a low resolution uh, these days. However, no question in my mind, this is an absolute buy. Uh, Apple has taken what is probably the best product in this category and made it just a little bit better. I expect to see even more uh, improvement in battery life when the next generation of OS X Mavericks comes out with some features tuned specifically for the Haswell uh, chipset in here. So you're going to see uh, more, believe it or not, more than 12, 13, 14 hours of battery life on, on something like this. This is the ideal, uh, as Neil Patel said, the ideal a notebook for taking to the coffee shop and staying all day. A definite buy for the 2013 uh, MacBook Air. I love it.